I'm here with starting pitcher Anthony Bass from Michigan. Is there anything you miss about Michigan? Uh, my family, but besides <laughs> that, uh, I'll leave the snow and the cold to Michigan. Do you Growing up, were you like a big Lions-Tigers fan? Growing up, I was a big Tigers fan. Yeah. Uh, my favorite player for the Tigers was Cecil Fielder at the time. I remember hitting, hitting some pretty far home runs at Old Tiger Stadium growing up and uh, really caught my attention at a young age. Okay, you made the opening day roster as a long reliever, quickly moved into the starting rotation when Dustin Mosley was injured. I know you felt for Dustin, but at the same time, what was that like for you, not only to make the roster, I'm sure that was a goal for you this year, but then to be one of the five guys? Yeah, it's, it's very flattering. You know, a goal out of spring training was to make the uh, opening day roster, and when that happened, I was very grateful to uh, be here. And uh, my role, like you said, was long relieving. And then uh, all of a sudden, the unfortunate news with Dustin and his injury went down. And I knew this was kind of my opportunity to, to go into the rotation and shine. Now, working as a reliever and working as a starting pitcher, which do you prefer? I like starting. I've never met a pitcher that says he doesn't. But yes, it's, is there anything that you bring with you, though, from, from the bullpen that you take with you when you start? Yeah, I do. Um, I, I try not to change my mentality too much out of the bullpen. I had an attack mentality going out there, uh, throwing a lot of strikes and using my defense. And uh, I think that plays you know, starting as well. You got to go out there and throw strikes and uh, get your uh, team back in the dugout to hit. You had an incredible game against the Giants a few weeks ago. Pitched a complete game. You're perfect through five and two-thirds innings. There was a stretch where you retired 33 Giants consecutively. You gave two-time Cy Young winner Tim Lincecum a run for his money. Was that a measuring point for you as a pitcher? Yeah, uh, I just went out there and pitched my game, but to go against you know a two-time Cy Young winner, I knew I had to be on my game. Um, and uh, you know he he beat me uh, you know that game, and uh, I'm excited to face him again. But it was a big learning experience for me, as far as you know knowing that I can you know work deep into games and uh, you know I have the stamina and the strength to do that, and I just want to build on it. Pitch efficiency, fastball command, I know that's some stuff that you've been working on. How big of an adjustment has it been from the minors to the majors as far as what you could get away with there and what works here? Yeah, exactly. you got to get ahead and you got to be able to use your fastball and locate in the strike zone. Um, you know, at the minor league level, you can get away with making a few mistakes. Mm -hmm. At the major league level, you know, you're going to pay for it. So uh, that's a big thing that I had to, to learn uh, very quickly and something I'm going to continue to work on uh, through my career. Your start against the Marlins, your first major league hit produces three runs. Not bad, right? How good does that feel? Like, is that a better feeling than, you know, getting someone out? Or what, what kind of feeling is that? It was, uh, it was exciting, especially yeah. when I heard the fans get pretty into it after, um, you know, I hit that triple for my first major league hit. And uh, it was a big point in the game. We were down and uh, didn't have a great greatest first inning. And to show them that I'm going to still battle out there and, and compete, um, you know, I think the fans saw that. And uh, that was probably the most gratifying thing for me. Earliest baseball memory. Do you remember what it is, or how did you get your start in baseball? Earliest baseball memory, uh, probably Little League. I mean, when I was about seven years old, um, I remember my mom was throwing, throwing to me. You didn't see too many moms as, as coaches in the day. They're mainly dads. Okay. But my mom was my first pitcher in Little League, and I still remember that. Just, did she have a background in it, or was she just she was just the volunteer that said she'd do it? She, she claimed <laughs> she, uh, she was a good softball player in her day. Does your mom ever pitch to you anymore? Like just, you know, take a few swings in the backyard kind of thing? I, I ask her, I'm like, <laughs> I just want to play catch with you one more time, and, and she just keeps making excuses, so I'm still waiting for that day. Play ball! You're on the mound, the game's about to start, what are you telling yourself? Attack. One thing on your bucket list? Uh, I want to go in a shark cage. I want to see uh, Great Whites face to face. Just right up there. Yeah, right there in South Africa. If you weren't a Major League Baseball player, you would be a? I think I'd be a coach, baseball coach, mm -hmm. probably a college baseball coach if possible. You've got $100 in your pocket. Yes. You go to the mall. What are you, what are you buying? $100? I go to the mall. I'm going to the food court first. <laughs> I'm getting about $50 worth of food, maybe some cheeseburgers. Um, Food's expensive, so that's, that it does. Is. It takes up like a big chunk. Yeah, and then after that, I don't know, maybe go to uh, Victoria's Secrets and, and get something nice for, uh, for a lady friend maybe. I don't oh. know. That's the best answer I've ever heard. <laughs> I wasn't sure what you were going it. with, but we were going with it, but all right, I like it. Best perk of a big league clubhouse? Best perk? Uh, probably the, the leather chairs in front of my locker. I don't have to sit on a stool anymore in the minor leagues. I didn't really like that. So I say the leather chairs. Leather chairs versus stools. Yes. Leather wins every time. Anthony Absolutely. Bass, thank you so much. Hey, you got it.